welcome everybody. Uh, today is June, Tuesday, June 2nd. We're here for a uh, work session. Uh, we'll stand, and leave, stand, stand up, take our hats off, and do the Pledge of Allegiance get started. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> okay, we'd like to have a moment of silence to honor the military, firefighters, sheriff's deputies, and road workers as they serve our community here and abroad. Edwards, can we have a roll call, please? Trustee McLaughlin? Present. Trustee McGuire? Present. Trustee Mann? Present. Okay, so first thing on the agenda here is some old business, and uh, I guess we're going to have a credit card discussion. Who's got the floor on that? Is that you, Tracy, or Mr. Wolf? You know anything about it, so it must be Mr. Wolf. Trustee Mann and Trustee McGuire asked me to put this on the um, agenda <coughs> trustees um, to discuss credit cards. Um, the fire chief had asked for an increase on his credit card uh, about a, two weeks ago. I put in for that change. Uh, turns out that, that it may have not been the correct steps to take, which I, I totally understand. And so the trustee said, let's just take it to the uh, those two trustees said, let's just go take it to the meeting. So you trustees have to decide whether you're going to allow an increase in credit card amounts or not. And that's the discussion. Mr. Lutz, sir. <coughs> so that was a temporary need you had because of the things you're doing in this building. Correct. Right. That. Are, yeah. you, are you satisfied now with what you're in your needs? Well, I didn't know if, what the, the limit is if we raise it up or not. We need it because we were close to that 28th, the 28th of the month. Yes. And Mr. Wolf needed some stuff for his side of the, you know, uh, locks and a couple other things. And I knew we were going to be close from buying the paint and stuff that we got here. So that's why I asked him if it's okay if we do it or her. Right. Tracy and asked her if we could uh, raise it up just to get over that uh, 28th. In a temporary, as a temporary situation. Okay. Why can't you just uh, do a PO and cut a check to clear the balance and do it that way? Why do you need more money? On that? Because you can't you can't buy stuff with POs all the time. No, pay the credit card balance, get a check cut to pay the balance, just free up balance on the card. Yes, the credit card doesn't work like that. If we pay on it to pay the overall <coughs> bill, it doesn't pay each. So if you paid, paid amount, you would not pay just the fire department's bill. Okay, gotcha. You understand what yes. I'm saying? Yes. You have five credit cards. Um, you pay amount on the bill, total bill. It doesn't go just to the fire department. It doesn't go to the referral. It doesn't go to general client. Trustees doesn't do it like that. And Wolf's got a card that doesn't work ever. It um, always well, gets why is his? Why is his never work? Everybody else does. I don't get that. I asked him for the car so I can go and find out what the problem is has never give, been given to me. I can't can't keep going through somebody. If, I, if you want me to fix the problem, I'll fix the problem. If he has a car, then he needs to fix the problem. The problems are too coincidental. Well, why are they too coincidental? Ones? We got five <clears throat> cars and nobody else is having a problem. That's not true. Uh, well, chief, not, chief, how many times has the credit card bounced on your PCs? They've had it once or twice, but they've talked to her about it and they just cracked it. So. Right. My, mine doesn't work each time we have uh, Adrian Jones go out to buy something or I am my, at the OTA conference. Um, and, and so I just, I, I, you know, that's, you know, that's why, and, and Tracy's right, the balance does not clear to the end of the 28th or whatever. But we've got to look at something different. No other 
operation I've ever been involved with have these kind of problems. The, uh, one, first of all, you turned in the credit card. You turned in, you told the trustees in front of everybody that you were given the credit card back, and then you came to me and got it again, but you didn't get permission from the trustees, but you got permission to give it back. No, the trust, none of the trustees knew that you had that credit card back. Two did. No. Uh, Mr. McGuire, Mr. Mann, you knew Mr. I had Mann. to have that to buy some things in the office as we Mr. moved Mann, to Calumet. Did you know? I asked you. You told me you didn't. You weren't aware. Of it. You said to get the credit card back from him. Well, you're talking about the same time frame. You might be talking about buying stuff at Calumet, and you might be talking about the ordeal with the OTA. Conference. I'm talking about the Calumet stuff. Okay. That's what he got it back from. Just clarify. Okay. And so at that point, just to make sure we trustees that we found a workable way around it. Tracy said she wanted to take over the order for the mailbox and the signs and all that, which is fine with me. And that didn't require me to have a credit card to go do anything. But by then, you had an employee out at one of those stores and got rejected. And the, the person in the office ran it in the office, and then they had to abandon the, car, the full cart of the supplies and walk away. I have made a decision that no one in the administrative office will, have, will use the credit card because I won't embarrass them anymore out of the store. I mean, I had it happen to me at Walmart with NAJT. Tracy knew I was going. She said I had a balance, and the card still didn't work. Well, I don't know anything about that. See, I don't know anything <clears throat> about these things. You guys have a possession of the credit card. You can't make it my responsibility but you also, when you guys have the credit card. It's not my responsibility. I've already verified it with Todd Cooney. You've got administrative switches that you can turn that does not have to anything to do with me when you go that has nothing you're, to do with you're me. the administrator of the credit that card. has nothing to do with me you guys have the credit card if you want me to fix it give me back the credit card if you don't want to fix you're going to have the problem i think that's should, all and that's it and that's all i think we should start pulling back the credit cards the auditors have already told us uh, they've already given us advice that the credit card limits are growing too much. So, everybody involved with this move knew that they were going to have expenses. And I just don't like, I don't even see the receipts for the credit cards coming out of your department. And it probably would be a big production to even get some of those. It wouldn't if you request the, the, all you could do is request, and if you sign the bank reconciliation, you would get the credit card receipts. But you don't sign the bank reconciliation, so I guess you'd never know. Well, that shouldn't be a prerequisite to see the statement. Well, you need it's to ask record. for it. Then ask for well, it then. Why, you know, you why wait why till the meeting. Such a nasty tone we, the, because you're giving me a nasty tone. Like it's my fault, it's your own fault. Take the blame, Jim. I it's your fault. Them. Ask for the credit card. Don't blame it on anybody else. Ask for the receipts. I don't see the receipts. Is that because you don't open your eyes or you don't ask for them? That is your own fault. Take the blame. Well, the trustees, I think we need to find a new credit card vendor. I've had enough of this nonsense. Back on the uh, day before the OTA conference, team, did you not uh, acquire a credit card and make some hotel reservations on it? With Tracy's approval. I don't get approval. How can she get approval on I've always asked before I go to conference so we don't have any problems with that credit card. And then we tried to check Tony into to the event, and it, and it bounced in front of the OTA managers. So Tony had to pay for himself. I paid, I paid for the hotel. It, well, you went over and took care of the problem, but our credit card bounced on Tony's hotel, too. Was he was the code enforcement officer ever approved to go for all five days? Yes. When was that done? We asked for anybody to go. Uh, when did you say not? When did you say not? I don't know. I remember saying the, the two give the code enforcement guy five days of free vacation over there. Task. It's not a free vacation. Okay. Education so that he can do his job better. Trustees, I make a recommendation. You two years ago about you started with questions about meeting with the bank. None of you met with the bank. I'd suggest before you do anything, Mr. McGuire, on changing vendors, I would 
hold the meeting that you, sh you started talking about two years ago? Actually, it was scheduled on the 21st of January, and you guys told me to cancel it. And I told you I'm not going to schedule it again. You have the point of contact, you guys schedule it. Because I went through too much hassle to try to get that for you just to tell me the day before or two days before the cancel it. Well, I'm, that done was, with that it. Issue, I'm done with it. That issue was it's either approved the budget. I'm done it shut with down the, the credit contract. Card. So, uh, I'm done with the credit cards. You take care of it. You trustees take care of it. So I'm going to make one other statement. Tracy, I did not say anything about you doing anything wrong because you, you did do what they told you to do is to cancel the meeting. I'm saying to the trustees now, meet with your banker to find out what you got. Otherwise, you're going to continue to have these issues around the clock if you didn't address it with the banker that he paid and run money through and they charge large fees for it. over five million dollars gross going through the books and you never met with the banker and you are the financial responsibility party held responsible for the township there are institutions that just do everything on expense reports so if you need something you buy it and you expense it and you pay back I mean, credit cards are that big of an issue, that is an option. Right. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. But, yeah, you know, I, my suggestion is to meet with a banker so you know what you got. What, what are your systems? How do they work? And then you understand, and then maybe you can make some very good decisions, informed decisions on what to do going forward so we can eliminate this problem. Eliminate any personal conflict there is because there shouldn't be. But until you meet with a banker, you can't tell the public that you know all the facts. Mr. Lutz, besides the need for the increased uh, amount, and you said your BCs had a couple of times when their cards got bounced, overall and all, are you, your department, happy with credit cards? Are you satisfied? Yeah, we're with fine with them. It's, it's a rarity that it happens. I mean, when I first got here, it was crazy, but after we figured it all out, it's, it's been fine. It's Once in a while, we'll have a, a card bounced, but that's about it. So what I'm hearing through the grapevine is it problems with are you getting you turning the receipts now, Tom? I mean, what's what's the issue with the credit cards? Are you getting receipts from the okay. well, cards? You can't make a purchase if you can't, you can't, you can't get a receipt. Yeah, the card. I can't use the card to start with. It's but not to get trustees, you should meet with a banker because your money is going through a bank that you've never met. I mean, we went through this when Chief Lutz started with this. He got thrown out of the hotel because his credit cards were bouncing. So there's reputational issues. Uh, you get embarrassed from a client. Before I went to Columbus, I stopped at Fifth Third and Trotwood and checked personally with the bankers to make sure it was good. So I didn't fall into the problem that you had at OTA. So. Hey, then you went to the OTA two years ago. Oh, okay, that's past year. Okay, just clear. So. Uh, we pulled a report from Fifth Third a year and a half ago. There was 55 bounces at that point. Maybe we should get a new report and see how bad it is. I just set up a meeting with, uh, <clears throat> you know the contact, Mr. McGuire, set a meeting up and we'll have a meeting with, our, with the uh, banker and talk about credit cards. We'll take care of it. Okay with that? We'll give it yeah. up. I have one from March, March to May, <clears throat> but they repeat it, they keep re running them through. There's only five, but they keep running them through. So there's one that's four times they run it through, one they ran it six times. Six? It was zero balance though, so. Uh, I mean, with zero amount they ran through. The Walmart one, that's the one that I think Adrian took over. Gene. And the go that was ran three times, four times. Were you saying six was you or was your comment? No, no, I was just saying about Mr. Wolf's cart. Maybe I'd get a check, maybe the metal thing in the back, you know, the strip. Yeah. Maybe it made it done by some uh, magnet or something, but it's not, maybe that's why it's not working. Or maybe so, somebody's playing with the administrative controls on the card. So well, let's get the card back to So Tracy. somebody, why don't you just say my name? Because you just said I was the one doing it, and I just told you I don't touch that. You know, you make a lot of assumptions 
You know what assumptions mean? You make an ass out of yourself. Okay, so I, I think the answer to the problem here, the old business credit card discussion, let's have a meeting with the uh, banker. Let's have, let's have a talk with uh, whatever the guy's name is. Uh, Jimmy will set that up. Yeah, I don't know. Scott Munford, 1-800-488-6773. If you want, you can talk to Todd Cooney. You have his number, obviously, because you talked to him. Thank you. Okay, so... I'm sorry, it's Mum Powers. M-U-M-P-O-W-E-R, Scott. That's good. Mm -hmm. Next is uh, future meetings. Uh, meeting and plural meetings. Uh, uh, I'm fine with starting to have two meetings a month. Let's um, we start having business and get things taken care of. Other trustees, comments? I like having one meeting a month for now until we get past some of this virus stuff. Get past what? Get past the virus issues. Okay. Mr. Mann? So. I think we're going to have some problems with the virus. Uh, it's going to shoot up in a couple of weeks either. So. A lot of people not wearing that. So scratch the mid-June and mid-July meetings? July is an audit meeting. Well, we, we can wait till July, the first meeting in July, and decide that. We'll decide month, ask you month by month. How's that? So if right now, we'll scrap the, uh, the calendar here. The, the meeting in June, which would be the 16th. So we want to cancel the June 16th work session and regular meeting. Correct. And we will have the July 7th meeting and work session then. We good with that guys? Good. Yeah. Do we need a vote on that guys or are we good with that? All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Okay so let it be known public we're not going to have a June 16th work session and regular meeting. Our next meeting will be on normal July 7th uh, work session and regular meeting. Okay, next on the list, uh, review resolutions for trustee meetings. No details, so I'm kind of in the blind here. What's this supposed to be? So is this tonight's agenda you're talking about? Yeah, a regular meeting. Um, trustees, uh, in a little bit, you'll have all your new employees and your promoted employees in the road department come. They'll come at about quarter to six or seven, but they'll stay in the lobby so they don't want to violate the ten-person rule in this room. Um, I'm, uh, we're going to swear them in, and just like the firefighters that get hired as well, there's a resolution there to finalize their hiring, although uh, you gave me the explicit right to throw out offers to them at the last meeting. They've accepted, those that wanted to accept, accepted the offers that I, I gave them. Uh, but it's it's the formality of hiring them, and, and in that resolution packet you have the uh, resolution. Uh, there is no number on it because we weren't sure, uh, Tracy, we weren't sure what number to put on it, so you'll have to help us with an audit number, I mean, a, a uh, resolution number. But uh, you have to pass that like you do for any firefighter prior to me swearing them in. And they may be bringing their family with them. When they're finished, they are exiting the building and not staying here. So you get to meet them. Um, I realize you, you know, keep, we'll keep the distance when they get here but you'll get to meet the new folks and the folks that we uh, promoted in, in, in either salary pay position, part-time to full-time, uh, who were the existing internal, and then the new hires. Um, so that's the first thing that uh, I wanted to cover with you. Uh, the next thing is Tracy has, there's a couple of resolutions there that Tracy had developed with you know, one I think are, involves the fire chief with uh, transferring of some funds. Um, that's the $500 transfer of uh, COVID money that was sent to us uh, freely by the insurance company to use any way we need to for COVID-19. 
Um, Tracy did exactly what she was supposed to do and she distributed or allocated the cost based on the insurance distribution um, exactly right. And, but in order for Chief Lutz to reimburse for the masks and the things that he's doing at this building, we have to ask for a resolution to transfer all that money to fire. So we can is this, is this a typo, 50 or 500? It was only 500 that they gave us. The first one is 50. You're talking about in the little box. Right. The, fifth one, the first one has 50. That's correct. But the total amount is 500. Okay. Total 500 total. But, but that resolution needs to be modified. I have the modified one here. Because you can't transfer money from the road to the fire. That's right. So I got the modified resolution here. It's just the semantics in there. It's just everything the same except the fund code to change. You want me to give them to you now, or you can see them later. It's up to you. You got copies? No, I didn't make copies because I didn't realize until just now that it wasn't in the package. Is there a job description for the employees so we have something to work off of when we do employee evaluations? Yes. Um, the job descriptions for the road department were adopted in 2019. Uh, at the start of 2019, you, as trustees, table adopted new job descriptions in 20. So all the employees were interviewed based on the 2019 job descriptions, um, which are on record. So we still have that table. Well, it's too late. You have to start over, but. You did yeah. not pass the, any changes to any job description at the end of 2019 to be effective in 2020. So in other words, you're saying those 19, they're not adopted since so whatever it was before. You have them, but you have them Co adopted. Correct, correct. So Same as the saying? handbook. The handbook has never changed, so you adopted the handbook each year since 2016. So then, I need to, for the auditor's sake, it needs to be... They have, the, they have the job descriptions that I had to provide them, so they have it. The auditor? Yes, I had to provide all of them to them. That was for 19. No, I had, to, I, had to, I had to provide current ones, which is 19. But I'm just saying, this is going to be for 20s, for audit, so it needs to be with that. Okay, I can provide that. That way they won't have to ask you again. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. You know what that's like. Yeah. Um, so the, the third one is uh, we have all that office equipment that's torn apart. Uh, you guys have seen it in the storage room there at the Calumet. And, and I, 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 it's time to, to either sell it or dispose of it. Um, and so the, there's another resolution in your packet, the third one that asks you to give me a way to to dispose of that product. We're going to try to sell it on eBay first or one of the websites, uh, Gov Deals, uh, and also contact the local office <coughs> supply stores. Uh, but in this world right now, uh, one of our biggest dealers in the Dayton area is going, might go out of business, and that's Galeris. They're closing the South Dixie store uh, now, and they're not in the market of buying old, old furniture like they were a year ago. And with COVID, you know, it may be a little while before anyone wants to touch anything. But I want to get the okay to be able to get distributed to things that, that we don't need. Tracy has gone through their shopping. I've gone through their shopping. The new road uh, crews fixing up Kemmel Road uh, went through their shopping, per se. And, the, and the, there's no more usable, from the township standpoint at this point, what's in that room. Can we just send all that down to McMurph? They closed McMurph. They did? Yeah, about six months ago, the uh, Montgomery County Solid Waste District closed McMurph. So there is no more McMurph. They turned it over to nonprofits like Goodwill. So we might be able to send it to somewhere like that. The restore? It could be the restore, could do, especially the doors and things like that. <clears throat> so that's what that resolution is about, trustees. I think the fourth one. That's the auditors. That's the auditors, if you want to talk about that, Tracy. So, 
you guys received that information from the auditors and we had some adjustments we had to do. And I had to lose money. And the road fund, or add money, and the road fund in order to do the adjustment they wanted. And that's what this is. That's all complete now. All the adjustments we have to do is all complete now. They're just waiting for us. What's she said? waiting for findings from the state or something, and then they'll be ready to close out the audit. So then we, I, have, I have to do is done the, do all the adjustments and everything. Any questions on that? Were those um, folded over sealed envelopes in our drawer? Is that the passwords? Oh, I'm going to tell you about that too. But that's the password for you and. I didn't see the password in it. Or is it the password? It's written. It's written. It's only you and. That's the password. You have to change it immediately when you get in. It's everybody's password the same. And you got to change. As soon as you log in, it's going to tell you. Now, Reggie, it tells you to change it right away. Yeah. And if, if ever you if ever you forget your password, just call me, I'll reset it and I'll be you and Tracy and I laughed about mm -hmm. that. Because I just saw the letter U and I said, What's this? Thank you for by the way, thank you for doing that. Getting it. Okay, so uh this thing is new business. There's something up there. You might have any new business we will discuss in the work session. I have a couple of things. Okay, Gene. Um, when you guys should have got a uh, letter and a contract from JWAR, Jefferson Regional Water, but uh, you should have got a copy. I think that's in your mailbox, Mike. Okay. We ain't, we're not going to vote on anything tonight. I just wanted to just talk to you guys about this. Yeah. It shows the six hydrants where they're located, and it's $100 per hydrant per year. So we're looking at that went up. a cost of $600. What, 50 bucks? Yeah. So if there's a percent increase? Uh, it just says a sum of $100 per year per hydrant to provide uh, water and services to track. I still disagree with this, but. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Last year actually went up because we didn't, that's when you decided not to pay it and it was up $100 then. We still do not have a side contract. So are they going to tell you no if you hooked up to them and we don't have a contract? Well, the only, the only thing that they're trying to do with us, since we have six hydrants here in Jefferson Township, they want to charge you $100 per hydrant for us, for them to maintain them. Is that, is that correct? That's the way that's I read this year is for them to maintain those hydrants. Any new ones, the cost of any new ones goes on to whoever the homeowner is or the business, if they put one in front of their property. <clears throat> but they want to charge us $100 per hydrant a year to get their maintenance uh, budget to they maintain need, their stuff. And you, they need to show us that, that money is set, put in a separate fund for the maintenance of the fire hydrants. I, I've been there. They perform no maintenance on the hydrants. They take that money and put it in their O&M, in their regular I mean, we go out and flush them. Correct. We, we, we flush them. We do the work on them. You pay in $600 a year for what? And by code, if that is for a fire hydrant maintenance fee, that needs to be put in a fund with that label on it and used for that purpose, not put in the regular O&M fund with what they're doing. So when you produce a fund with that new name on it and use the money for that part, I might think about voting on it. Until you do that, you got to know from me. And with the, with the, uh, with the line on for all the communities that they're doing this to, they're a regional water authority. They're not like uh, Montgomery County Water Department. They can't charge because they're, they're, they're doing it by taxes. This is a regional authority, so this is where they're getting off to be able to charge you. That's, that's their mainstay of why they're, they're doing this. Okay. Kind of right. Right. Do you pressure test those? Or are these nor are, are these hydrants you're going to on a regular basis? No, no, we don't go. It just depends if there's a fire in the air. I'll tell you where they're at. Uh, 1445 Infirmary, 3804 uh, Frytown, 8990 West Third. I know we've used that one before a couple times. 
3657 South Union Road, um, and then 5425 Pinnacle. So it's not that we use them all the time, it's just that the fact that we have them in our community and they're, they, they're the sole proprietor of them, that's where they're turning around and charging you for the maintenance. Isn't the one on Union, is that the one that's been built forever? That no, it's fixed. That's not the, that's, I don't think it's that one. That was not in Jefferson Township. The one that was broke was in Rowan City. <clears throat> yeah. The one they just replaced. So that was the one. Uh, wasn't that out of service when we ate? Well, actually, one? the one for South Union, there's like three or two or three of them in that area. Because that, that was a big house fire right, right yeah. in there. And you, you went up. We went further down. Yes. We did not. The first one we went to was at the corner there, which was Montgomery County. It was shut down. We did not know that. Nobody ever notified us. So we yeah, had that was for that's the JRWA one. What on the corner of Hempel and Union? Yeah. That's that is that is the Jefferson Regional Water Park right here. Yeah, this is Third Street, South Union. And Union. Anyway, I have no problem paying the fee, I mean to help the okay and everything, but the money needs to go in a special fund and be used to do hydrant maintenance. They don't do hydrant maintenance. Now why well, I know that Tracy she gave this to me the other day. She said that you guys have a copy. I gave, yes. it to, I gave it to Mike in your mailbox. It's okay. a contract. It's okay. a contract. So if I would think it's my suggestion that you would look at that contract and put that in there. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Let, let the other two trustees. Review. I'd like to see the terms, see if they would go for How about we just pay them every time we got to use it? And if they're not going to agree to that, then we put some sort of addendum in there that they've got to prove that they're maintaining them and that they're operable every year because all right because you pressure test stuff flow test flow test so you're going to know whether or not they're maintaining it by the flow test right Like I said, I gave you a copy, Mike. Thank you. You see anything anything about their, their maintenance, you know, about them putting in a maintenance fund or anything like that. But I'll let you guys look at it first. Okay. You, can, you guys let me know what you want to do, and I'll pursue them. Okay. Can you set the spec for what those should be flowing? Uh, no. It depends on the size of the main itself. You know, a two inch will flow. 200, uh, 500 gallons a minute, or a four inch will flow 800 to 1,000. A five inch will take you up over, you know, 1,000, take you like 50. You're lucky to get 600 out of them. Yeah. So the different water we put out about 600. I don't know, I didn't look the main sizes up, but I know these are, uh, there's some Mueller's and Kennedy's. In, in, in my prior experience that gene, the flow testing is more of a record, you're watching to see if you have a decrease in time. I thought that was one of the things that the well, test. Well, when we flow test, we're looking to find how many gallons per minute we're getting out of the higher. Correct. So you do this year, you do next year. If you're slowly getting a reduction, then you say something to them. Right. Yeah, when we flow, if we got an area like over.